Karen family have been involved in building complete soil compactors since 1962 and landfill compactors since 1965 with their previous company known as Pactor Corporation. The original Pactor Corporation, along with the Trashmaster, was sold to Rex Chainbelt of Milwaukee, Wisconsin in 1968. Karen Compactor Company was formed in 1969 and in that year Caterpillar introduced the 826B landfill compactor and subsequently in 1970 the 816, later to be referred to as the 816A. Both cat machines had the choice of a straight blade, which was the most common, and a full U-blade as an alternative. Initially, customers with only a compactor and no track-type tractor believed the larger U-blade would be more productive. Customers with a track-type tractor, including a D6, D7, D8 or equivalent, usually bought a straight blade on the compactor as they utilized the track machine to feed or do the heavy pushing and spreading of the waste material. The U-Blade was not as successful as a straight blade for several reasons. On hot ambient temperature days and usually running the compactor on 3 to 1 or 4 to 1 slopes, as recommended by the cat factory, at the time would cause problems. Many applications would have cooling issues and could be detrimental to the engine and converter in the transmission. Both the straight and U-blade also had a tendency to funnel the trash under the center of the machine when raised or spreading material. This created accelerated wear to the underside of the machine guarding along with debris wrapping around the drive lines and wear to the differential housings. Karen Compactor Company, being a major player in the landfill wheel market and their continuing efforts to improve wheels, felt the need for specialized trash blades to improve the efficiency of the compactors with the bottom line of increasing density to conserve valuable airspace. Karen began its entrance of these specialized blades in the 1980s with the development of a semi-U or SU to compromise somewhere between the two OEM blades built by CAT. The Karen SU was designed wider with angled wings on the outside edges to reduce a large window left by the straight blade, yet had a larger flat section to distribute the trash evenly under the machine. Karen Compactor's first double semi-U or DSU blade introduced in 1989 was designed with a patented center splitter, which forces the refuge to each side of the blade from the center. Karen then designed a flat section directly in front of each compactor wheel to cover the minimum width of the wheel. This enables the blade to spread trash evenly under the wheel itself to enhance a uniform coverage and reduce the amount of loose material causing wear and possible damage under the center section of the machine. The outside sections are angled to add to the capacity of the entire blade and reduce the amount of trash left in a windrow to the outside of the blade and force the material within the flat area to be distributed under the wheels. Karen manufactured blades in both the SU and DSU throughout the 80s and 90s to include the 836 which was introduced in 1993. We have manufactured hundreds of blades through the years of the 826C and 836 onward to the G, H and today the K series models of both these machines. Karen also offers a push plate on both the 826K and 836K. This plate, besides giving the machines the capability of pushing stuck vehicles and other equipment, forms a protective plate when attachments, such as the tarpomatic, are used. In 2005, CAT introduced their version of a semi-U trash blade. Karen blades have always been wider and heavier, with higher structural and wear characteristics than those produced by CAT. Karen Compactor Company continually improves the effectiveness and durability of its trash blades, resulting in significant differences between Karen and CAT built blades, both in design, structure, material, and resultant increased weight including, but not limited to, their respective warranties. In 2005, Karen changed the mounting and structure on the back of both trash blades to coincide with the cat build blade structure for the 826H and 836H machines. That same structure is also utilized for the 826K and 836K machines. 
In 2011 and 12, Karen modified the internal structure of both blades to improve performance and durability on the new 826K and 836K machines. Here are front view photos of our DSU and SU in 2012. The following show the improvements made for the K-Series in material thickness, doublers to the moldboard, reinforcement gussets, including wear and reinforcement plates. Karen builds blades using half-inch thickness in material, including adding doubler plates and another half-inch material, shown in green, for pushing on the front. All Karen built moldboard and push plates are made using A572 material for higher strength and wear life. Cat build blades use 10 millimeter or less than one half inch of material, utilizing A36 mild steel on the moldboards with no doubler plate. The back end of the Karen blade is also built with half inch material, the draft arms and end plates being more than double that compared to Cat. Additional lap plates shown in green, moldboard bolster and stiffener gussets highlighted in purple, and the fact that Karen, through a proprietary manufacturing process, welds the draft arms of the blade directly to two-thirds of the back of the moldboard, shown in brown and orange, not a process done by Caterpillar. The bottom lap plates highlighted in green, along with the bottom wear reinforcement plates and thick gussets for cutting edge support, shown in orange and brown, a process done differently than Caterpillar. In a weight comparison of the Cat SU to the Karen SU and DSU, the Karen SU is 9% or 524 pounds heavier on the A26K. The Karen DSU as compared to the Cat SU is 14% or 837 pounds heavier on the A26K and 1,335 pounds or 16% heavier on the A36K. The Karen SU for the A36K is 835 pounds or 10% heavier than the Cat SU. It should be noted that with the engine in the rear, any weight added to the front end of a CAT compactor blade is beneficial to a more equal weight distribution on the tractor. The final result is much higher strength and reliability in the structure of Karen blades. In addition, Karen provides a 5-year, 10,000-hour warranty with only the exception of the life of the cutting edges and end bits on all of our blades, not available on the CAT trash blade. Caterpillar considers their trash blades a work tool and guarantees them, unlike the tractor for one year, unlimited hours, generally not to exceed 2,000 hours, and their trash blades do not apply to extended warranties. Karen, on the other hand, has elected to warranty our blades on the 826 and 836K compactors for a minimum of five years or 10,000 hours, over five times that of a cat warranty as covered from one year of use. Better built Karen SU and DSU trash blades, chosen best by those who know.